We keep hearing a lot about the phrase purpose and meaning. And these things are used interchangeably, but the reality is that purpose and meaning are not the same thing. Even though we as leaders, we as individual contributors, we as employees, we keep talking about these things as if they are the same. But the truth is they're very different. Now you need both of these things and they're related to each other, but they are not the same. In my most recent book, The Future Leader, I came up with this framework that starts with the person's job, then it goes to their purpose, the impact and meaning. And I'm gonna put up an image of that visual on the screen here so that you can see what it is. And I wanna walk you through what this actually means, the difference between purpose and meaning and how all this stuff really just fits together. So the first thing that you can see is that we start off with our job. Our job is very basic. We all know what our job is. It is what is written on the job description when we apply for the job, when we take a role. So for example, if you are in customer service, your job is to respond to customers via email, to respond to them on the phone, to engage with them whenever they reach out to the brand, right? That's your job. Next, we have the purpose piece. The purpose piece goes one level deeper. So if you are in customer service, what is the purpose of your job? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you talking to customers? Well, your purpose is to resolve their issues. Your purpose is to make sure that they walk away from the interaction with you feeling more engaged and more energized about the brand, that they wanna become uh, loyal customers or brand ambassadors, that you make their day better, right? That is the purpose of what it is that you're doing. Next, we have one level farther from that, which is the impact. The impact is really asking the question is, are you actually doing what your purpose says you should do? So in other words, again, if your purpose is to make customers' lives easier and better, if it's to solve their problems, it's, if it's to allow them to leave from the interaction feeling happier, is that the impact that you're actually having? You never want your impact to be less than your purpose. You always want your impact to be greater than or equal to your purpose, never less than. So for example, what happens if you have people who are engaging and interacting with you as a customer service agent and you're actually not solving their problems? You're frustrating the customers, you're making them angry, you're making them never wanna interact with the brand ever again. In that situation, your impact is um, less than the purpose. So hopefully that makes sense there. Uh, the last piece of this puzzle is meaning. Meaning is what you personally get from doing the work that you are doing. Again, if you are in customer service, you might get meaning from building relationships with people. You might get meaning from helping other people. You might get meaning from that human interaction and that dialogue. If you're in engineering, you might get meaning from solving complex problems and tackling challenges that most other people can't figure out. So purpose and meaning are not the same thing, even though you need both. And I find this to be a very useful and helpful framework because all of us as individuals and as leaders need to understand what our job is, we need to understand what our purpose is. We need to understand the impact that we're having on the organization, on the world, on our communities. And we also need to find our sense of meaning, what we personally get out of doing whatever it is that we do. So hopefully after watching this video, you can take a few minutes, sit down and see if you can write down what your job is, your impact, your purpose, and your meaning. Hey everyone, it's Jacob here. Thanks for watching. I wanted to let you know about a brand new resource that I just created called the Quick Guide to Improving Employee Experience, which you can download at employeeexperienceguide.com. That's employeeexperienceguide.com. And in this PDF, you're gonna learn exactly what employee experience is, why it's important, and you're gonna get some action items, some things that you can start doing right away inside of your organization. Employee experience is the number one business trend for organizations around the world when it comes to attracting and retaining top talent. But what exactly is it? Where do we begin? What do we do? I'm gonna talk about all of that and a lot more. Again, you can grab the PDF at employeeexperienceguide.com. That's employeeexperienceguide.com. I'll see you next time. Test, 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 test. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're recording. Thank you.